Exxon Mobil board director Gregory Goff has recently taken a key role in a newly formed company backed by Elliott Investment Management that aims to acquire control of Venezuela-owned oil refiner Sitco Petroleum. This move raises eyebrows, as Sitco is a direct competitor of Exxon in the motor fuels and lubrication sector. Exxon ranks as the third largest oil refiner in the U.S., while Sitco is the seventh largest, setting the stage for potential conflicts of interest in the competitive industry. Goff, who joined Exxon in 2021 as part of a dissident slate of directors, was announced on Friday as the CEO of Amber Energy, an affiliate of Elliott Investment Management. Amber Energy recently emerged as the winning bidder in a U.S. court auction for shares in Sitco's parent company, PDV Holding. The auction is part of efforts to repay up to $21.3 billion in claims against Venezuela and its state oil firm PDVSA, stemming from expropriations and debt defaults. Amber's bid places Sitco's enterprise value at up to $7.28 billion. The Houston-based oil refiner owns three refineries located in Texas, Louisiana, and Illinois, as well as an extensive network of fuel storage facilities, pipelines, and 4,200 independent retailers. Sitco reported a net profit of $2 billion in 2023, making it a valuable asset for any potential buyer. Notably, Goff's new role at Amber Energy comes while he continues to serve on Exxon's board, where he is listed as chairman of the Audit Committee and a member of both the Executive and Finance Committees. Exxon has yet to comment on Goff's dual roles or the potential implications for the company. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Amber Energy declined to offer further details on Goff's involvement or the Sitco acquisition. Amber Energy's disclosure of the Sitco bid highlights Goff's for decades of experience in the energy sector. The statement references his previous roles as chairman and CEO of Oil Refiner Endeavor and CEO of Claire Technologies Incorporated, but it makes no mention of his current position at Exxon. Goff also held a vice chairman role at Marathon Petroleum until 2019, where Elliott Investment Management previously made billions by influencing Marathon's operations. Marathon eventually sold its Speedway retail fuel business to 7-Eleven for $21 billion in 2021, a move that solidified Elliott's profitable involvement in the company. The acquisition of Sitco marks a significant move for Amber Energy, as the refiner's assets are critical to Venezuela's long-standing oil business. With Amber Energy now poised to take control of Sitco, it could shift the dynamics within the U.S. refining industry, where competition is already fierce. Given Goff's prominent roles at both Exxon and Amber Energy, the development raises questions about potential conflicts of interest. As Sitco's new potential owner, Amber Energy's direct competition with Exxon could put Goff in a complex position regarding his responsibilities to both entities. As the situation develops, industry observers will be closely watching how Goff navigates his involvement with both Exxon and Amber Energy and what impact the acquisition of Sitco could have on the broader energy market. Playful Parade will continue to provide updates on this unfolding story. Become a part of the Playful Parade community. Smash that like button, drop a comment, Share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers.